So, you've come back from your holiday or photography event with over a thousand images captured on your camera's SD card. This is the quickest way I have found to import your pictures, select the top pictures for sharing, then edit and process just your top pictures in DxO. The advantage of this process is DxO only has to inspect your top pictures rather than all 1,000 pictures in the folder on your hard drive. The steps will be Using Fastone Image Viewer, import and rename your photos from your SD card onto your computer. Select the top pictures you want to process in DxO with Fastone Image Tag function by pressing the back backslash key to tag your top pictures. Three, transfer your list of tagged images to a DxO project. Four, edit your list of tagged images in DxO. And then five, export from DxO the ones you want to share. Starting Fastone. Select the folder where you want to import your pictures. I always have a separate folder for the pictures as they were shot, so raw pictures for most people. Right click, import photos and videos here. By default, faster than we usually find your SD card, the right folder. I rename the files to year, month, day, and then import. If you've got pictures that were taken more than one picture in the same second, Fastone will stop and ask you, do you want to add a number onto the end? I always just say yes, and then it will keep going and it won't ask you again for the rest of the import. Import uh, process. We get to the last of the pictures. You'll have the choice of deleting the original files off the SD card or just leaving them and reformatting the card in your camera. For now, we'll just leave them, press close, and we'll see we've got our 1067 pictures from our trip all lined up and as you can see there's some dark shots very shots that we're not going to want this is where you go through and pick out the highlights that you want for sharing or printing whatever it is you want to do this dot here is the tag dot if you can't see it go into settings and settings the thumbnail tab and make sure the allow file tagging is ticked Go through and pick out all the pictures you want. The backslash key is the easiest way, or you can just tick the actual box as you go. Scrolling along, or nearly you might take a little bit longer to pick out the different pictures. If you think, oh, not sure which is the best one, double click, you'll get the full screen, and then just arrow forward, different pictures. Decide no, too bright, that one's good. Backslash, then you get the little pink highlighter marker to let you know that one's been highlighted. Press the escape key, continue down, highlighting pictures as you go. Now we've reached the end. Clicking the pink dot up here will show just the pictures that we've highlighted. These are the ones we want to edit. So at this point in time, start DXO. You may start in advance, but we're just starting it now. With just these highlighted pictures showing, we'll be able to drag these into a project in DxO. Now this is where all the folders are. Uh, also where the folders will be imported, and we can see all the pictures. And you can see DxO is still counting up all the pictures, which can be a bit slow. To make it a little faster, we go add a project, new project, I'm going to call it Simpson Desert Highlights. Select our two on the screen at the same time. In Fastone, select one of the pictures, Control A for select all and then drag and drop them and you'll see a little pop-up says drop images here for the project we want to put these pictures into. We now have a project in DxO with just your highlighted pictures. Go through, do whatever edits you need to do. This is not an editing video so we'll skip that. We'll assume you're happy with them all. Select all your pictures, export to disk, Output, pick the size you want, maybe you want a smaller image, and then click export. You're now done. You've imported a thousand pictures, selected the highlights, edited, 
and got your export underway. Hoping that helps you speed up your workflow using DxO with Fastone as a quick image viewer.